Hi everyone, Phil here from PC Games, and once again joined by Jordan, hello, aka Eve Online's best and most prominent player since the game went um, free to play. What we're doing is a sort of beginner's guide for beginners by beginners, so we don't know anything about EVE Online other than the couple of hours that we played last episode. There should be a link below to watch episode one if you'd like to catch up. If you are all caught up, what we're going to do is click on Scyther Williams there. There we go. Welcome back, Scyther Williams. Who, um, we sort of made a, a new metal character because we felt that that was what the game wanted from us. I totally forgot how awesome this area is. I highlighted your wallet. So Blade Runner. Disk balance there. Remember to close all windows when you are finished using them. Okay, so I guess, thanks to Aura here, we're meant to be clicking on this. I have highlighted your wallet. Oh, here we go. Sure are going to start your training. Oh, Vidari's back. <laughs> the most easily impressed woman in all of space. <laughs> this research outpost is a hidden site where the Sisters of Eve have been working with us. Hold on, you've been paid 250,000 is. Right, I'm looking at that now. I could buy a house. I mean, well, it's certainly a very healthy deposit. I mean, certain places... I don't know what the property market's like in space. I don't know if there is one in EVE. But I mean, in South Bristol, you can get a lot of <laughs> lot of house for your money for 250,000 disc. I've just ignored everything there, haven't we? ...upgrade your ship's capability with a data analyzer module. However, it seems like the Empire's stock of analyzers in this region are fully depleted due to ongoing drifter attacks. After analysis, it is my conclusion you should build one. Just tell us what to click on, Aura. The mission, eh? Okay, that sounds like a plan, but you'll need the necessary materials to build it. The fastest way to get materials would be to mount a quick raid on a local pirate den. Let's do that. Yeah. Scum who stop at nothing to make. Oh, a bit harsh. No need to dehumanize. Well, actually, they are slave. Yeah, slave people. So. Oh God, here we are. Captain, okay. it should come as no surprise that a pirate con. There we go. Just get rid of her. <laughs> she she won't quit. Okay. on the highlighted neocon menu. Where's the highlighted neocon menu, mate? And clicking redeem items. I think we're lost already, aren't we? Oh, it was all going Christ. so well in the first one. The items and select redeem selected items. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Redeem items. I think. That I think. Oh, there. Yeah. Well, both of those I think sound pretty good. Let's do that. Uh, yep. Yeah. Well, look at that. We've got some civilian armor repairer. Great. Items will now be in your inventory in the station's item hangar. This is going to get really confusing, isn't it? I'm already feeling a bit. There's right. a lot of menus. There's the inventory. I forget about the scientists and two survivors we saved. <laughs> oh yeah, just patiently waiting in the back of the ship. Into your training queue. You can queue up additional training or train skills you've learned oh to the next God. level by hovering over them and selecting Add to Queue. Skill training occurs over time regardless of what you may be doing. Okay, so does that... Oh. <laughs> in free time. In your item hanger to the top of the training queue. Just drag that okay. to the top of your training queue, mate, alright? She wants us to, to drag... Where is it? Acceleration control skill book in your item hanger to the top of your training queue. Okay, so let's so go. Let's go in the item hanger. I think it's this. And then, <laughs> there we go. I've got this. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, hang on, hang on. What's this? That's actually more user friendly than we're giving it credit yeah. for. Yeah. It's very rude of us. It was just there. Now you should upgrade Whoops. your ship by fitting the repair module to it. Christ. To do this. Right click on the module and select fit to active ship. Oh, it's an item hanger apparently, so it is definitely this. Okay. Which seems ridiculous. Fit to active ship? That's it, isn't it? Yes. JD, job done. <laughs> As they say in space. <laughs> I'm pretty hip, by the way. You should click on the ship fitting icon now highlighted. Now highlighted. I mean, click. there's a lot of things. There we go, it's over here. Got it. Sure. Okay. JD. Just this thing? Oh my god. Look how many windows we've got open. It's like pop-ups. An afterburner for speed and a civilian weapon system for dealing damage. I now calculate your combat odds against a moderate-sized pirate gang to be at an acceptable level. That's good. I want more than acceptable. 
There are bounties on their heads. Captain, proceed to neutralize those pirates and earn those bounties. Okay, no problem. Um, oh, she's back. Is she? I have highlighted the yeah. undock option for you. You should press this when you wish to leave the station and travel the stars. That's, that's very theatrical, isn't it? When you wish to leave the station and travel among the stars. You're going to get Vidari coming back to you any second, impossibly impressed that you've managed yeah. to repair your ship. Pirate outpost. You should now click on the location marker icon in the info panel. Oh, first, I have to close every window that's just <laughs> <laughs> cropped up ever, including you. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Yeah, I feel like not. Are we? All that. We're still in space, though, right? We're just wandering around now. Are we floating somewhere? Where are we? Is that, oh, that's us. Oh my oh, god! I see. Well, that really. That. Oh. That, that really serves to uh, underline how insignificant we all are. Yeah. In our tiny problems. Okay. In our tiny, tiny lives. Thanks for that, Phil. Thank you. Um, tiny hmm. hopes in our dreams. Look at the god clouds. Aura tips. Warp to location. That looks like it's pretty helpful. Let's do that. Warp drive active. Here we go. Oh, hang oh. on. There we go. It's got to be this thing, isn't it? Yeah. God. No no Doctor Who music, though. <whistles> See, I knew Phil so well, or I know Phil so well, that I knew he was going to do that. There we go. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Your combat odds to be within an acceptable level of safety. However, I did not anticipate the presence of corrosive gases in this area. <laughs> <laughs> Christ's sake, Aura. Your ship start taking damage. In that case, you should use your afterburner and burn through the clouds to get out as fast as possible. Also remember that you can use your repair module should you take damage to your ship, which you likely will. Thanks. Cheers, Anora. So thanks for the vote of confidence. She's back. Captain, you should now approach the highlighted asteroid colony and activate your afterburner. Oh. I have calculated this to be the shortest route through the gas cloud. I'm a, I'm nervous, to be honest. We'll be fine. It's, it's just a, a corrosive gas cloud. I'm just I'm concerned that I'm just going to forget where all the buttons are. Right. So we click on that. That's the asteroid colony. It's double click, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. There's the approach. And then we use our afterburners. Steady breathing. Remember to activate your repair module when you take damage and switch it off again when you have repaired successfully. But where is it? That's below the afterburners. There we go. Just there. Okay. Um, Got a feel for confidence here. Again, I'd say if you're not watching this in full screen and you're sort of using this to figure out where some of the buttons are, I'd, I'd go full screen because they're pretty small. Oh, Ooh. yeah, I think that's health. Yeah, we'll just we'll let that tick over a bit. Yeah. There we go, now we go. Uh, I'm going to say approach rather than orbit because I reckon I can just blast them in one. Do you think so? Yeah, if if you know, previous combat has taught me anything about this game, it's that this game is a breeze. <laughs> and I've got nothing to worry about. I think uh, that might be the corrosive gas getting to you. I think I'm out of the corrosive gas. I think I, I, think I should probably are. keep repairing though. I feel like this is, oh god, here we go. We're going to get destroyed in one or something, aren't we? Oh god. Am I just going to hit this? No, we're in orbit. Yeah, well, I just, I could hit it. I've, I've just clipped straight through there. No problem. <laughs> getting uh, getting hit a lot by the clone jacker punk. What an isn't... embarrassment I am to the Minmatar. It's all right. Vidari's going to be back on the blower any minute. She'll absolutely love what we're doing here. Maybe orbit now. Maybe this is the time I have to orbit. Did you start? Yeah, I think you're firing now. I think you're firing at them. Oh, I am. Yeah. Okay, we've got this. We've got this. Let's keep shooting, keep repairing. The, the music's kind of curious, I'll give it that. Yeah, it's pretty avant-garde for her. Ah, space boom. Ah, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Um, good job, Web. Oh, my God, there's some belter hoodlums. Now you're all right. We'll go in and just kill them, I think. Oh, that's very confident if you feel. Approach, lock target, orbit. Easy. I, ca I can't do either. There we go. I can approach this sucker. Oh, yeah, we God. are taking some damage oh, there. Especially with two two of these bad mothers against us. Oh, that looked like it would um, yeah, it cause a bit look. of turbulence. I'm still desperately trying to shoot back. Not sure if I'm doing anything. Have I you... definitely did the right series of uh, lock, yeah, I think uh, did, yeah. approach, orbit, etc. There's a lot of red. Yeah, is there all, is. is I feel like there shouldn't be that much red. 
I'm, yeah, I'm definitely locked on. If it's going to say I'm not orbiting him, I'm going to be very angry indeed. Can you? What happens if you? Yeah, do that. Uh, capsule ejected. Oh, I, th uh, I think. I'm dead. Oh, here we go. The ship has been destroyed and your capsule ejected. Ah. Uh. Don't worry. This happens to every capsuleer sooner or later. Mm. To recover from this unfortunate incident. Mm. I have been embarrassed. Right, how do we do this? Oh, First, set your no. destination to your station. Warp drive active. Well, this is a setback. Um, well, we had to know how to do it eventually. Oh, that's pretty though, isn't it? That's really pretty. I just, I don't know what went wrong. We got through the corrosive gas. Um, and I'm pretty sure I was locked on and everything and all, you know, all the good stuff. Yeah, it was a bit confusing. But here we are, safe and alive. I think it's going to cost us a few isk to... Um, in yeah. Ship hangar. Right click your new ship and select make active to board it. Oh, easy as that. Did that cost us anything? I I'm not sure it did. Action, you will need some replacement equipment. Huh. Oh no, thirty thousand mm. um isk. through the redeeming system. Hmm. Oh god, I need a redeeming system now. Do you reckon that was meant to happen? I'm going to say it was meant to happen. I feel like it wasn't. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. <laughs> but I feel like we learned something anyway. What a man. So, so that's fine. Right, it's got to be these, isn't it? Yeah. I've, uh, I've done that. Look at that, Phil. I've got the hang of these menus. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, got it. No problem. Um, I don't know if I actually did that. To your ship. Right click mm. on each one and select fit to active ship. Yeah. Just like how what you read. Ah. Combat odds to be within an acceptable level of safety. I'd say we don't need those. We're going to do this this time. Yeah. Well, we've learned a lot. In our experiences in space. Like UI navigation. Yeah. Which is essential. Oh, here and we what go. What happens when you die? Which is one of the greatest mysteries. Anybody can uh, discover. Here we go. It's lovely music. Um, I don't know where I'm meant to go. Is it warp again? It's warp. They do a great job of making space look nice. Easy. Job done. JD. Very nice. Right, there's the noxious gases again. I'm really surprised we can't just skirt around that because it looks like... Yeah, it's tricky in space, isn't it? But... Hmm. Right. Right, I'm just flying somewhere. I'm going to go over by this ripped superstructure. Which is 45 kilometers away from me. Yeah, something like that. Okay. I just feel like I can totally avoid this this whole noxious gas situation. Yeah, that did take a bit of the old um, shields away before, didn't it? So it did. Let's give it I a go. I could do with those shields. Should I give the afterburners? That's not the afterburners. That's, um, there we go. Yeah, that's one of our weapons there. All right. Here we go. So one of the confusing things, I'm not sure if I just double click somewhere in space that I'll fly towards it. I feel like it has to be one of these objects. I think it's got to be a target, yeah. Mm. Which means I can't do any cool loop-de-loops. No. Maybe later on there's a loop-de-loop -loop yeah. tutorial. Surely I'm out of it now. There's no green in sight. And yet, we are still taking quite a lot of damage. So mm. I don't I don't understand. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like they just want me to go into this with the worst chance possible. Shouldn't I be blowing that up? It looks like I should blow that up. Give it a try. Uh... God. It's a depleted battery. That sounds quite explosive. Hmm. Try orbiting that now. Oh, God, no. Invalid target. Okay, forget it. Forget that, Phil. Right. Let's keep repairing. So it's 15 HP per six seconds, which doesn't sound like a lot, does it? No, I don't know what our total is, but that did go up a little bit. Hmm. Just going to keep, keep trying to hit that. Maybe if I stop, repair, like repair to full health again. Maybe that's a good thing. That sounds like video gold to me. <laughs> Let's just pause a while. Maybe if we just float in endless space. Okay, I see a red target in the infinite abyss. Oh, it's shooting at me. Right, approach. Oh, it's the clone jacker punk. Right, here we go. So we're approaching, we lock the target, and then we orbit. Thanks for that guidance, lock Phil. Lock target. Orbit. Let's, orbit. Let's get this sucker. Is that the weapon? Yeah. No. That's the weapon. That's yeah. the weapon. Auto cannon. Ooh. 
Right, we're shooting. Right, that's shooting at something. It's, it's, shooting, it's shooting over here. Shooting in the exact wrong direction. What the hell is wrong with you? Which is the problem we had before. What is, what is wrong with you, Scyther? <laughs> he's acting up, isn't he? Yeah, he's being a bit... Right, what, what does it look like he's shooting at? It looks like there's something else we're targeting way over there to the left. It does, doesn't it? I've got to double click something, I think. Maybe if we can just get, oh, yeah, he's, get the camera he, I think over there. It's very difficult, Phil. Is it? Yeah. Also, every time I go to click on this guy, there we go. That's what I want. I'm try orbiting him. I'm definitely locked in. Yeah, you seem to be locked to that dead battery that right. we looked Maybe at. Maybe if I on. unlock. There unlock we go. Target. Right. Unlock that guy. Lock on this sucker. Oh my god. If I look like a space noob right now. Because I am. If you zoom out of your ship a little bit, it might be a bit more manageable to. Just some pro tips from Phil. Um, I'm pretty pro at Eve. I've just been I've been keeping quiet. But, oh no, um, I'm I'm orbiting a bloody asteroid colony. Yeah. This is typical. There we go. Right. Let's give him some more. Give him some more of our cannons. All right. We're definitely orbiting him now. So these are all useful tips here. Like th that bit there tells you what you're actually orbiting. So if you do find yourself just shooting it, I don't know, a In piece the wrong of rock. Direction. Yeah. Oh, that was stressful. Right, I feel like we've got this this guy now. Yeah, the health's looking all right. We're yeah. going faintly in the direction of the uh, corrosive gas cloud. I'm ready to take on some kind of Titanic super ship now, I think. Yeah. There oh, we go. Space boom. Take that, sucker. He meant that. I did. Jordan's quivering with rage here. <laughs> quivering with rage. Never something you want to be. You sound like a dog that might wet itself. Um, hmm. What next? What next? Uh, there, were, there were two... We need to secure uh, the location. There's a bad guy. He's miles away. Yeah, but he, he got us before. Okay, let's approach that bad guy then. Right, let's get let's get him. Not any asteroid colonies. Approach. Belter hoodlum. Here we go. Look at how much health we've got as well. Here we are doing great. This is fantastic. I am an Eve pro. When do you reckon it's time to book tickets to FanFest? Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't imagine we'd need tickets. They just need to watch a few of these videos and realise what what's up with Eve at the moment. <laughs> Who's hot with Eve? Us. And then it'd be like they'd be like JD. JD. <laughs> Seeing these two play, JD. J, J Dizzle. Oh, there's another. God damn it! There's an arco pusher. Well, we've we've approached this one. I think we oh, should be. Let's orbit. Oh, we haven't locked on target yet. There we go. Okay, locked, right. So right. now orbit, orbited and locked on. I think we're going to start firing at him any minute. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> He's space dust any second now. Look how much health we've got compared to last time. Like, Yeah, I think this is more encouraging. Yeah. And also, like, we're firing at it, which I think was the problem before. We weren't so I'm much firing at I'm still concerned about it. how much damage all these massive rockets they shoot yeah, at us do. Yeah. Uh, we're just know. shooting them with, a, like, a Gatling gun, but... Who am I to question space warfare? Are you definitely firing? Yes. Yeah, Phil, you definitely. Sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. God, you are so, so critical sometimes. <laughs> Overbearing. Right, look at that. He's... he's <laughs> space boom! He's bloody dead, isn't he? Right. Let's get Well this, done. Let's get this guy. Have some faith in me. Have you um have you locked onto your target there, mate? Uh Yeah, it says orbiting Nago Pusher. I'm just going to lock on right now. Just wondering if you'd uh, locked onto the target. Right, there we go. Yeah. There we go. I think it's best if you... <laughs> I'm, I'm very concerned about all the things we might hit here but I don't think that's actually going to be an issue let's keep repairing how's the health doing there yeah maybe you want to look at some of the repair yeah maybe I miss Matt <laughs> on that one let's play I'm, I'm a bit confused about what all this is meant to be to be honest um hmm it was it must have been some sort of gas mining facility I think oh space boom Great job, Captain. Captain. Yeah. Oh, we'll get Vid Vidari on the phone any minute. You need to approach. You should oh. loot its contents and then return to station. Oh my God. You know, I think we might. What uh, when she additionally says... want to do is maybe a bit of the old repair. Oh yeah, go on. I don't know. Just go on. Then. Um, I'm concerned when she says I've highlighted something because, as you can see, um, she's <laughs> highlighted sod all. Um, the container that you need to pick up. I wonder where the container is in all of this. Is it this thing? I think it's this thing. <laughs> Maybe. This can't go wrong, can it? Um, is it that? There's the resource crate. Oh my god, I hate you. Aura. Great job, Captain. I hate you. Ten minutes ago, I highlighted the crate that you need. This. 
this this thing here in all of this <laughs> let, let, let's be clear okay if, so if, do you think we were supposed to kill those things first before it properly showed us if we why why was she so keen with with a oh you've, you've done great there no problem i'd be interested to hear your experiences viewers if you've done this same area whether that's just because we went in the wrong direction or we like we just simply didn't see it or but, what you know i don't i don't want to be angry but that seems quite hard to spot i mean even <laughs> now i'm keeping my eyes trained on I it know. in case I know, it. maybe if we click aura tips it shows up again it does okay so maybe we just missed it but it ah. disappears so quickly right let's just yeah. op open that cargo look at all this I'll just loot all that then yeah, all that Easy. I was really kind of hoping we'd get some... Um, oh, Aura wants some attention. Location marker icon oh, in she's needy. Dock at your HQ. Right. Drive active. right, so that's all of... The, all right, we've got a scientist and two civilians chilling out with some space rocks. Somewhere in the... I feel like we should have dropped them off when we got back to I know. HQ. When, <laughs> when are they allowed out of your ship? Because this has been awful for them. Yeah. Just warping everywhere. Fight after fight after fight. I mean, just... not not to uh, question the immersion too much, but we did actually lose that ship as well. Oh God, yeah. So, do you reckon they're still in the cargo? I think they must. The, the cargo must be within the pod. Look at my wallet, are they? Um, right. Well, anyway, we've done that. Then what a triumph! I, you know, I feel much better about that now. I feel like it, it wasn't just asking me to, you know, point and click every single thing. Back to the Blade Runner right. Tower. Recruit. The way you tore through that pirate's. Here, Here she go. is. Here we go. It's not fine. Wipe away a blight on the region. You've confiscated a trove of materials. Now's the time to try your hand at industry and make something useful from the materials you recovered. Captain, industry jobs oh are the capsuleer's way of manufacturing goods for himself. They can be a path to great wealth if you hone your industry skills. You should now have the materials to start production of the data analyzer unit for your upcoming reconnaissance mission to the research facility. I have calculated this to be important. To build this module, you'll so first need a data analyzer blueprint, which you can buy from the market with your ISK. She's going to pop up any second. There we go. You should open the highlighted market tab and use the search functionality to find civilian data analyzer blueprint. I feel, yeah, there we go. Hmm. Once you have located the item, you should click on it to view the active cell orders. Oh my god. Locate one from the list that says it's available in this station, then right click and buy. Um Okay. Huh. So what we want here is the civilian data analyzer blueprint. Oh, we can just search. Oh. Here we go. All right. Here we go. That's a clack. That's a mechanical keyboard, just in case you weren't aware. He's having this up quite a lot. <laughs> just. I have to feel useful. If you didn't know, Phil's not a big fan of mechanical keyboards. There we go. Nothing, Nothing found. found. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Absolutely right. See you later on. Uh, um, okay. Can we just put data in? So that's actually how you type on a mechanical keyboard. Blueprints. All right, well... well uh, uh, all right, cool. Great. I feel like you probably just spelled it wrong, mate. Yeah, that's what happened. Deputy Editor Phil Evanyuk. That's what happened. Spelled I it wrong. spelled it wrong. Um, what do we have to do, though? Uh, Right-click and buy. Okay, there's all these sellers, which is kind of scary. Um, They're quite expensive, though, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Uh, how much money do we have? Does it say... So those going for 20 million, it's quite hard to see with the mm. tiny UI, but I'd be surprised if we don't 20 million-esque by now. Maybe just buy? <laughs> <laughs> it's too much red on the screen. That's why Phil's here. And select open cargo hold. Oh my you god. You can use the right click, select all, to highlight all the items right, in your cargo go hold, the and then click and drag them to the inventory tab marked item hanger. Oh my god. Oh, there's a lot of, you know, looking around menus, isn't there? Yeah, I, I was prepared for a bit of menu looking around. But it... Okay, open your cargo hold. And that was actually very simple. I should have got that, shouldn't I? Um, 
Okay, so I just should just read this, shouldn't I? Uh, open cargo hold. Okay, so um, had a little look, and it turns out I was already in the uh, cargo hold. Sure. And all I have to do is right click anywhere, press select all, and uh, copy those over to the item hanger. Great. So we've got those items in the item hanger now. Job done. In your item hanger, locate the civilian data analyzer blueprint. But are you ready for the next test? Blueprint and select use blueprint. Probably not. I don't. From the industry window. Is that the blueprint? Here, oh. you can see the blueprint Maybe. you are using in the middle of the window. It's not, is it? it... No, it's I'm going to say it one. is. I'm no, going to say it is. It's not. Is that now? Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Right. So what happened before? I feel like we bought one that was multiple jumps away and it and maybe took a time to get through. here. Oh. Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll end up with another one. Well, we can we can yeah. sell it for 20,000. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's 20,000, not 20 million, which is also very good. Yeah, it's, a, it's a full stop rather than a comma mm. there. I thought that um, it was scrolling past the column. God, look at all these screens. You can see the materials that will be used from your item hanger. And on the right, you can see the output, which will be your brand new... Can we? Is that what we can see? Yep. You should now select Obviously. start. This will start the well. manufacturing process. <laughs> you looted enough materials from the pirate outpost. What I'd say instead is that we just drag that civilian data analyzer from that window over into there. Let you create unlimited analyzer modules. I did that. Provided you have the required material. Right into the box though. Okay, let's that's right. <laughs> that's what I'm inclined to think. You're still wrong, Phil. Well, there's um, a big swirly um, wheel below there. All right, well, let's do what Aura says. This is the blueprint, right? Use blueprint. Use blueprint. That's brought that up. That's just going to minimize or close it. It's got to it's got to be this simple, hasn't it? I think something should show up at the bottom there that isn't. And that frustrates me. Ah, Phil. So we just need to wait for sort of five minutes. Yeah, for... that's totally okay, isn't it? Um, but now what do we do? Click on it. Can we pull it up and put it in there? If we... No. Can... Manufacturing? No. Well, does that make sense though? On the left you can see some stuff and on the right you can see... That still doesn't really make sense, does it? Uh, hmm. You should now select start. Can we do that by doing this? Not really. No. Not at all, actually. I don't know why I said not really. Gave it far too much credit there, didn't I? We're probably saving people loads of time, though, for this. Um, That's my hope. I shouldn't have clicked on facilities, should I? Because, look, hmm. I can't click back. I've gained some money, so... I, oh. don't, I don't know how that's happened. I don't know why... I said so, like a fa Father Ted character. <laughs> oh, we've gained some money, so... <laughs> um, hmm. So let's go probably back to blueprints. Um, yeah. Buy this type... Because we, we, we have plenty of this type. I mean, we have two, actually, I think, on the way. Again, can't drop that in there, can I? Right, try installing the blueprint again from our actual, from the left there. In it goes. Oh, my. What? what? Right. Let's, minim let's get rid of all the menus. Item hanger, yeah. And then you said use blueprint was the last tip, right? Yeah. Use blueprint. Oh my god! Right, so before when we said use blueprint, that was a joke, was it? At a later point, your blueprint original lets you create unlimited analyzer modules. Right, it's just that we did all that before. Oh, here she is. Don't don't worry. Recruit, you just you just used a blueprint. Oh my! I've never. Can I ask you, Vidori, who else is in your fleet? <laughs> Got many people there that you're commanding. The Sisters of Eve research facility is totally cut off, and I need you out there to find out what happened to them. Professor Tannen wishes to speak to you. Couldn't use any of your other no. fleet then. No, I'll just us. To you now. I want to go to end to Captain Quarters. Captain, oh. I requested you and only you for this emergency mission. To Quiet, cargo. <laughs> well, Stay she's not. She's hold. dead. She's definitely dead. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't come with us when we uh, hopped off in the pod. The sisters would suspend our assistance. They granted me this request. The truth is, Captain. Oh my god. She stuttered. Even more important than Fleet Commander Vidari realizes herself. Don't tell me Fleet yeah. Commander Vidari is fallible. <laughs> Say day is night, but don't <laughs> question <laughs> the competency <laughs> of Fleet Commander Vidari. I just wonder what other fleet commanders there were if we'd picked you know, one of the other races. Yeah. However, you saved my life and 
have been very discreet. I'd like a, you know, like a Brannon. Yeah. I mean, we're glorified Uber driver. What? <laughs> she owes us so much. And influential friends. Your next journey will be a little long. I'm sure many Uber drivers have had to endure noxious gas <laughs> uh, during their missions. But I'm Tish. That means that to get there, you will need to jump through a Stargate. Oh, wow. God. This is a totally different sci-fi series. ...on the beauty of the cosmos and report feelings of tranquility and wonder. Mm. Especially in advance okay. of potentially life-threatening situations such as our current mission. Got quite a lot of opinions, isn't Aura? ...has been allowed to travel this far or use the Stargates. If you become a Capsuleer, you can travel to the deepest sections of low-sex space, hunt for wormholes, or travel with friendly fleets through Stargates. Oh my god, she's back. Captain, your civilian data analyzer oh. is ready. You should open the highlighted industry window, select the jobs tab, and click deliver. The module will now be in your inventory under item hanger. Yep. Item hanger. So it is. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. So we've done that. That's good. And close that down. Okay. I feel like we've turned a corner yeah. there. We um I think the menus are, are much harder than the game. I've got to just see what what um. Are you in the captain's quarters? Yeah, I've got to know. Can we finally see Scythe? Ah, oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, <laughs> what a bro. Oh, no carbs after six. That face. When you're wearing that jacket, he's got some swagger too. You can you can just pivot him nicely there. He's got that slightly too good posture that men with his interest in new metal and counterculture tend to have. It's the same navigational kind of like thing as you can literally point and click where you want to go. Right. You can use uh, WASD as well, but I like oh. I, I like the cool pirouettes <laughs> oh. he does when you are. Uh... Oh, careful of the screen there, Scyther. He's got some pretty good sunglasses to take care of that, though. Yeah. Oh, oh what are we um... uncomfortable there? Well, before Jordan gets any more comfortable with Scyther, uh, we're going to leave it there for episode two. We hope you found that ed 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 educational, maybe? Something mm. somewhere between educational and entertaining is what we're going for. Um, we'll be back with episode three, which will involve more menus, probably <laughs> more um, clicking on enemy things in space, making space booms. Yep. Uh, yeah, so subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more of videos like this and some that are different as well. Leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, let us know what you thought in the comments. We will catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching.